My brother Louis was six years older than me. He went to Franklin High School, he hung out at Dag's drive-in, like all the kids. He had a lot of friends, he liked the girls, and he loved his cars. Mom and Louis had a special bond. After my dad came to Seattle to find work, they traveled all the way from Italy when Louis was only two years old. He was a good person and in many ways was like a father to me. American GIs engage Viet Cong troops near Bong Song Air Base. The night before he left, Mom made his favorite dinner. You could see he was scared. We all had heard what was going on in Vietnam. I remember he actually broke down. Mom just said everything was going to be all right. Louis would go, do his duty, and come home. Safe. Each day is a little closer to coming home. That's all I think about. I pray every day just to see the United States again. And when I do, I'll probably kiss the ground. Don't worry. I'll be back soon. At the Pentagon, the nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor, presented to the mother of fallen soldier PFC Louis Albanese, who was mortally wounded in Vietnam December 1st, 1966. Albanese's unparalleled actions and heroism saved the lives of many members of his platoon. The Albanese parents and younger sister Rosita accept a military tribute from a grateful nation. I think about how it might have been. Louis was only 20 years old the only Italian-born American to have received the Medal of Honor from the Vietnam War. He was just a kid from Seattle and my brother who did an extraordinary thing for his country. <laughs> <laughs>